Now the first EAS reactions we'll look at are halogenation reactions, bromination and chlorination, and we're looking at bromination first here, and uh, so the combination reagents here are Br2 with FeBr3, and uh, FeBr3 is a good Lewis acid catalyst, and technically we could also use AlBr3, another good Lewis acid catalyst, so whether it be uh, iron 3 plus or Al3 plus, they're both great electron acceptors, and that's a good thing because that's their first step in the mechanism here. So we need a positively charged electrophile, a good electrophile. Br2 is not going to be good enough, but when it reacts with FeBr3, it becomes better. And so in this case, now your Br2 molecule is attached to FeBr3, and one of the bromines now has a positive formal charge, and iron's going to have a negative formal charge. But the big thing here is that now I've got the electrophilic species. That is what benzene actually reacts with. So this is the first step before the two normal EAS steps. So we formed the electrophile, and now it's just two steps left. And the first one is electrophilic attack. And you might think we're going to attack the positively charged bromine, but his problem is he's got too many bonds. He's normally going to have one. He's got two. If we attack him, we're not helping him. We're giving him even more bonds. But by attacking this bromine on the end, this bond breaks and the positively charged bromine gets its electrons back so that it no longer has a positive formal charge. So and if we look at what we've got here, our intermediate here, we've now attached one bromine and we've got our carbocation. And that carbocation is going to be stabilized by a bunch of resonance structures and I'm not going to draw them all out. I'm just going to get lazy here. Uh, but we're also going to have formed a FeBr4 minus, and one of these bromines is actually the one that's going to act as the base. So one of those bromines is actually going to break off and do the proton transfer, the deprotonation. And that's what's going to restore our aromaticity back to the ring. And so now we've got our benzene ring back. The bromine has completely replaced the hydrogen, and we've also formed some HBr and some FeBr3. So hallmark of a good catalyst there uh, is that it does not get consumed in the reaction, and there we get our Fr FeBr3 back, uh, as we should with any catalyst. Uh, if you notice here, our substitution reaction is different than both SN1 and SN2. So in SN2, the leaving group leaves and the new, the new group comes on at the same time. In SN1, the leaving group leaves first and the new group comes on second. But in our case, uh, we had again the new group come on first and the leaving group leaves second, just like it will always occur uh, for our EAS reactions here. So uh, in this case, again, we showed how the electrophile formed. We also had to identify who's the base that does the proton transfer, and that's who it is in this case. Uh, but that's the mechanism we'll find chlorination is almost identical. Now we said with chlorination, the mechanism would be nearly identical here, and, uh, and it really is. So if we look at how the electrophilic species formed, uh, we have a slightly different Lewis acid catalyst here, AlCl3 instead of AlBr3 or FeBr3. Uh, and technically we could also use FeCl3 as well, either way. Uh, and first thing we're going to do is have our Lewis acid catalyst act as a Lewis acid. We'll make a new bond to him with chlorine so and get our electrophilic species. And, and again, benzene now can react with the electrophile, and it reacts with the chlorine on the end, just like we did in bromination with the bromine on the end, giving the positively charged chlorine his electrons back. That gets us our carbocation intermediate. And again, we'd have a bunch of resonant structures that I'm going to be lazy and not draw. So we'd also form some AlCl4. And one of these chlorines is going to break off. It doesn't really matter which one we choose and act as the base and come and deprotonate so we can restore aromaticity to our ring. So and our ring now has a chlorine instead of the hydrogen. The substitution is complete. We've also formed a molecule of HCl, and we've also reformed our AlCl3, got our catalyst back. So again, almost exactly identical to the mechanism with bromination, just a couple of very slightly different reagents.